I'm Laura Merrill, and in November I was privileged to be elected bishop and then super blessed to be assigned to serve the Arkansas Annual Conference. My official duties will begin in January, but I'm grateful to have had time already to uh, come and visit in Little Rock to meet your wonderful conference staff and to begin to plan for the journey that uh, lies ahead of us. As you know, this timing is not normal for the church to have a bishop start in January, although not much is normal for us these days. But uh, even though the calendar will kick into high gear, even though there's a lot that's swirling around us right now, I sincerely am thrilled about the possibility of uh, listening to you, getting to know you, learning about your ministries, and learning about the communities that surround our churches. During the season of Advent, I'm always struck by the contrast between the difficult circumstances of our world, and the hurt and violence that we encounter every day, and the warm, deep promise that the coming Christ offers to our hearts. In one of the scriptures for Christmas Eve, the prophet Isaiah proclaims the day, announces the day, when suffering people will find the yoke of their burden lifted and the rod of their oppressor broken. He proclaims the day when the boots of all the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. Can you imagine such a thing? Can you imagine that day actually happening on the news tomorrow? I have to be honest and say it's hard in a certain part of my brain to imagine that kind of day. And yet, when we listen with the, the ears of our hearts, when we listen with a different part of who we are, we can hear the promise as it's meant to come to us. We know that it's not just fortune telling by the prophet. We know that instead it is a claim on the present, a claim on the future. It is a proclamation that, that carries within itself the power to accomplish what the words are saying. Christ is coming again, and that will make all the difference for those of us who carry the promise in our hearts, those of us who believe, those of us who yearn for the light shining in the night. God is good. God made us and our neighbors, and God called all of us good, including the rest of this beautiful world. And, and Mary, through the goodness of her heart and through the power of the Holy Spirit, gave birth to Jesus, he who took on a body to show us that all bodies are important and precious. This is a good news message, a good news, hopeful word for us in the church and for the world. And it is our privilege now together to share that good news with the world, to share that good news with our communities, the people down the street, the people whom we have not yet met, but whom God loves nonetheless. This is our charge, this is our gift, this is our joy. And I look forward to getting to, to come and be a part of this family of faith with you and to begin to find new ways to share that same hope. May God bless you in this holy season, you and your homes, your families, and your churches. Peace be with you, and I look forward to meeting you soon.